Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the thermal imaging capabilities of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual. It's got both a visible light camera and a 160 by 120 pixel thermal imaging camera by FLIR. Even by the standards of thermal imaging cameras, 160 by 120 pixels is pretty low resolution. So unless you already know what you're looking at, the raw thermal output looks more like modern art, even when it's capturing ordinary, everyday subjects. Consequently, I think this platform is going to be better suited for tasks like inspection, where you're trying to understand something about a location you already know, rather than missions that involve exploration of unfamiliar territory, like search and rescue. If you've had a different experience, please let me know in the comments below. You can change color palettes using the camera settings button, and you've got a total of five to choose from. In addition to the thermal camera, we have a visible light camera that captures 4K video and 12 megapixel stills. And of course, both cameras are mounted on a three-axis gimbal for smooth, stable video. To help you understand what you're seeing in the thermal image, you can use FLIR's patented MSX technology to combine both the visible light image and the thermal image. MSX runs a real-time edge detection algorithm over the visible light image and superimposes those edges on the thermal image. That makes it possible to read signs and also makes it easier to figure out what you're looking at with the thermal camera. Now because the two cameras are mounted side by side, making the edges match up perfectly works something like zeroing out the scope of a rifle. You can make adjustments using this tool. However, just like that rifle scope, if you change the range to the target, you need to change your zero point as well, if it's important to keep those edges lined up. In addition, we have two tools available for measuring the temperature of objects in the thermal camera's field of view and you access them using this tool. The first allows us to pick any point within the camera's field of view and get its surface temperature. The second allows us to define an area within the camera's field of view and shows us the hottest object, the coolest object, and the average temperature for that whole area. The thermal sensor built into this camera is radiometric. That means it's capable of providing us with accurate temperature measurements using these tools. However, you really need to be careful how far you trust them. There are a lot of factors the camera can't account for, like the surface material of the object. Is it polished metal or weathered plastic? How far away is it? What is the air temperature and relative humidity in the environment? Without taking these factors into account, it's possible that the indicated temperature could be off by a little or a lot. If you need to know more about getting accurate temperature measurements, consider becoming a certified thermographer at the Infrared Training Center. This control manually activates flat field correction, or FFC for short. All thermal cameras accumulate noise in the image over time. FFC basically wipes the slate clean, but the thermal video will freeze for a moment when this happens. In its default setting, this camera will conduct an FFC on its own as needed. But using this control, you can trigger it yourself. So that was our look at the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual with thermal imaging by FLIR. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.